Hey guys, I am back. I have not seen you guys in so long and I miss you guys I so much. Start off by saying that I miss you guys so much. Even though I have not been posting videos, I have been still watching you guys. Um, I just got back in to like a routine. I feel like I was saying before, as many of you guys know, I had a lot going on in the months of May, June, and July. So it is now August and I still have a lot going on but I was like I just gotta make time to make a video and I had some time this week so I was like let me film a video, upload it, and just get myself back out there. So you guys know um, I got married in June so that has taken up so much of my time um, just getting married. I moved in July so that was so much. Um, and we went on our honeymoon, obviously, and then next week we will also be in Mexico, so I'm going to be super busy, but I wanted to put some content out there for you guys and just tell you guys that I'm still alive, um, and just say hey, and just update you guys on my reading status. Um, June, July, and August so far have not been, like, great reading months for me, just because I've been so busy, um, and I'm actually like job searching now, so I just have a lot going on, but I'm not excited to jump back into the booktube world because since I have been off and have been missing the people that I subscribe to, I realize how much I love you guys and how much like you guys are a part of my life, like just watching you guys and everything like that. I know so many of you guys are going back to school, some of you guys are starting school, which is awesome. Um, so yeah. So I just wanted to like give you guys a quick update. So what I've been reading that you guys miss, I have a selection which I was super late on. I just never wanted to read the selection. I never thought that I would like it. But I accidentally bought it on my Kindle section. I actually wind up getting it a, giving it a 4 out of 5. Um, I really enjoyed it. I really love the storyline. Um, and yeah, I'm definitely going to continue on with the series. I heard that the air from a couple of you guys, that the air is actually really a letdown. Um, it's just a terrible book. So I may not get that far to the air because I'm not going to make myself suffer through it. If so many of you guys hated it, I'm probably going to hate it too. Um, so yeah, I read that. I read Gillian Flynn's Dark Places, which I have, but I'm too lazy to go down there and get it. <laughs> Um, I read that and I haven't given that a rating yet. I gave it a rating on Goodreads, but I also feel like I just don't know what to rate it. Like, I feel like I want to rate it higher than what how I actually felt simply because of the fact that so many people loved it, so many people like, you know, and really enjoyed it and the movie and everything like that. But <sighs> don't kill me. I know Obs and Lala, who I watch all the time, love her. Like, I know she loves Gillian Flynn. I know she loves that book. And we have sort of the same reading style. I get a lot of my book recommendations from her. Um, but I, I feel like I really can't give it more than a 3.75. And I just really don't know why. I can't. That's why I feel like I can't rate it right now. But in my head, it's like, I want to give it a 4. But then it's like, I don't want to give it a 4 because in my head I'm like 3.5, 3.75. Um, because it just, the writing was awesome. Um, I love uh, Gillian Flynn's writing style. I love how we got to see it from each and every perspective of, um, I got to see the perspective from each and every character and their take on the story of what happened that night. Which, let me go back. Sorry, if you guys don't know Dark Place by Gillian Flynn, it's actually a really unique novel. It centers around our main character Libby Day, who her family was murdered when she was seven years old, um, in the Kinnicky, yeah, the Kinnicky massacre, which is not a spoiler. It's like what the whole book's about. It's in the synopsis in the back of the book. And she, when she was younger, her brother was the person that went to jail for those murders. Her brother was blamed for killing his whole family, and he went to jail. And Libby was the one that testified against him. But because she was seven years old, they're saying that she was probably coached into um, testifying and saying that. So she may not know exactly what happened. So for so long, up until now, she was made to believe that her brother killed her family. Until um, a group, and they're called the Clil Kill Club came along and wanted to challenge her and make her relive the case and go through the situation. So that's what the book is basically about. 
So, with that right there, the book sounds right up my alley. It sounds amazing. I was super excited to read it. I bought all of Gillian Flynn's books, like, immediately. I bought Gone Girl right away as soon as, like, the hype. And once again, I was kind of let down because I read that in the midst of all the hype and saying it was so good. And with that book, I really couldn't give more than 3.75 or a 4 out of 5. Only because... I don't know. I can't even tell you why. I don't even know. <laughs> um, so, so I just, I don't know. I just feel like I'm going to give it a 3.75. And I don't even know if I like Gone Girl better than Dark Places. I feel like the whole idea of Dark Places is better than Gone Girl to me. I don't know what you guys feel about that. Let me know in the comments below what you guys feel. If you feel, if you read both those books, which one do you feel was better? Um, but I just feel like Dark Places would have been way more up my alley because I just love murder mystery books and I love, you know, thriller and everything like that. But I feel like with, I don't know, I don't know, I think it was a lot of hype surrounding both of those books and I feel like they kind of, kind of a little bit of a letdown. I loved her writing style, I loved all that, but it was just something about the book that wasn't amazing to me. It wasn't amazing. I don't know and I don't know if that also maybe it has something to do with the timing at which I was reading the book because I was already kind of in a slump and I didn't maybe appreciate the book as much and I kind of flew through it. I think it took me like a day and a half to read the book and then I watched the movie immediately after which I also thought was a great book to movie adaptation. Okay, I don't know why I thought somebody was coming to my house. I also thought it was a great book to movie adaptation. I thought they stayed really true to the story. There were some parts they left out, but I understood why they left it out. Because I feel like it would have been so much to put in the book, the movie, or in the movie. Um, it was already like two hours long, so whatever. Anyway, so that was that. Selection, Dark Places. I also read Jodi Picoult, Har Harvesting the Heart. Which, Jodi Picoult used to be an autobi author for me. I have, if you guys can see here, like, 19 Minutes, House Rules, Handle with Care, Lone Wolf, like, all four of those books are Jodi Picoult, and I have quite a few of them down there on my shelf. But, the last, like, Harvesting the Heart, I gave it, actually gave that a 3.75, but it was so slow to get into that book it was unbelievable. I don't think I really like got into it and was invested until like a hundred and like 35 pages into the book. And if you guys don't know what Harvesting the Heart is, it's one of Jodi Picoult's, I want to say it's her second book, her second novel she ever wrote. So I don't know why I'm feeling like, oh, I'm being let down by her. I think it was because I started off reading her new, her newer novels and then went back reading her older novels and I think it's because I don't really like her older novels which is why I'm like oh maybe she's not an autobi author but um I don't know I feel like once you read The Pact and was The Pact by her? Yeah The Pact and then what is that really pop? My Sister's Keeper those were two amazing books both made me cry love those books and then I started reading her older stuff like she published it in 1993 and 1995 and I'm like womp womp so I think that had a lot to do with um why I feel the way I feel about her not being an autobiographer but Jodi Picoult Harvesting the Heart Paige has only a few vivid memories of her mother who abandoned her when she was five now having left her father behind in Chicago she dreams of art school marries an ambitious, doc ambitious doctor and soon becomes a mother herself Overwhelmed by the demands of having a family, Paige cannot forget her mother's absence and the shameful memories of her own past, which makes her doubt both her ability to give and her sense of self-worth. Out of Paige's struggle for to find wholeness, Jodi Picoult crafts with an asylum. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so, long story short, she marries this guy who's a doctor. She is a waitress. She feels like she's lost in his world. Like she doesn't, she doesn't know any self-worth. She just feels like li she lives through his shadow. They wind up getting pregnant and she winds up running away and leaving. And I got so angry at this book because of the simple fact that I understand that your mom left you when you were five. 
I understand that you struggle with that. And then you have a child and you have a chance to not let that cycle repeat and not repeat the cycle and you leave your son to go find your mother who hasn't looked for you at all and hasn't wanted to see you at all and then when you finally do see her she's kind of like okay I don't know why my camera just randomly cut off but yeah so that kind of made me upset because I'm like why would you leave your kid even though you've had the chance to start over it and not repeat that cycle also read A Million Little Pieces by James Frey I had that book on my TBR forever it's not like I super really wanted to read that book or anything like that but it was just for the simple fact that I've had the book for so long since I was in high school and I don't know where it is right now oh I've had it since I was in high school and I started it and then I found out that it wasn't a memoir and he like lied and I was like mm, fuck it not gonna read it so but I'm now I was that person before but I'm now the type of person that's like if I bought it and I started reading it I got it 2.75 sorry it took me 50 years to find it I gave this book a 2.75 so that was that, and I think I showed you guys that in a um, TBR like before that I was going to read that. So I finally read it. The book it. that I'm currently reading is the sequel to A Million Little Pieces, which is called My Friend Leonard, by also by James Frey. Is it Fry? I always forget. Frey. It's Frey. I don't know why I said Frey. But anyway, so I'm reading the sequel to that. I'm kind of like slowly going through it. If you can see, like... I'm not that far into it. I am like 73 pages into it. And I started it like a week ago. So yeah. So I'm 73 pages into it. I'm kind of in a reading slump. I don't know what to do guys. Let me know. Let me know of some books that you guys were like gets you out of a reading slump immediately. Um, I put myself on a book buying ban until after my wedding. We were on vacation after the wedding. We stopped into a bookstore. And I was, I had already saw this book like in the grocery store, like Walmart or like, you know, Target or something like that. And I don't really, I don't know. I just picked it up and I think it was just because I wanted a book because my band was over. And it is Heaven is for Real by Todd Bur Burpo? Burpo? So it's Heaven is for Real and it's just, uh, I think it's a memoir. No, it's, yeah. Oh, I don't know if this is true or not. I just realized that it says special movie edition. I don't even know if this is going to be a movie. Let me guys know if it's going to be... Let me guys... <laughs> you guys let me know if it's going to be a movie. Um, but it's about a four-year-old boy named Colton Burpo, which I think... Is it Burpo? I'm an idiot. I don't know if it's Burpo. <laughs> um, it's about his story, like he died and came back to life. I don't know I'm going into it completely blind but I think that that's what it's about if I'm not mistaken I read the synopsis when I first got it so I was like eh, I'll pick this up it's totally different so I got this book and it's pretty short so I think I'll fly right through it oh it has pictures oh my gosh this probably is a movie it's like a big movie or something and I don't even know anything about it whatever and then after that I was at Walmart <laughs> oddly enough and I knew that the third book library whatever is coming out for Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs so because I read the first book and I hadn't read the second book I thought why not read Hollow City before um I don't know what it's called library something you guys will probably comment and let me know what it's called um so yeah so I wanted to get so I wanted to get Hollow City and it's pretty hefty it's a pretty hefty book so I'm excited to jump into this and get back into this world and I'm also excited to see if I do want to continue on with the third book in the series because I kind of got this book because I kept seeing it I feel like I was satisfied with the ending of Miss Peregrine's Home that it didn't really have to be a sequel for me like that I had to pick it up but I also really did love the characters and really just love the fact that they all had like these special um, things about them that I would love to read more about them. So I picked this up and because I just wanted, I just wanted this cover, um, which I'm ripping the sticker off right now. <laughs> I picked up this cover of Me and Earl and the Dying Girl. 
Um, obviously, most of you guys probably have seen the movie. I have not actually seen the movie yet, but I just really love this cover, um, this version of the cover. I really like it. I love that it's so bright, and I don't think I have a book that's this bright with this spine. So, I picked up Scarlet by Marissa Ryers, which is a sequel to um, Crest, the second book in the Lunar Chronicle series. And first of all, they look awesome together when you put the spines together. I just love it. And I didn't think this was a series that I was really hesitant about going into because I didn't think I was going to like it. I am not a big fan of like cyborg type stuff, but I loved, I loved it. I loved, um, what is it called? I said the sequel to Crest. It's Cinder. Idiot. Oh my god, I just realized that. I, I meant Cinder. Like I said, you guys, I have not made a video in a long time and this video is going to be forever long. So I picked up, um... I picked this up and I want to read it and I'm excited. The last two books I really just picked up because they were so cheap um, at Barnes and Noble. It was in their bar bargain section. So I picked up Point of Retreat by Colleen Hoover and it's the second book in the Slammed series. And what trips me out about that is because does anybody know if there's a third book or is it just, um, is it just a duology? I don't know. I thought it was... I thought it was a slam series, so yeah, it does. In the second book, in the slam series, so whatevs. Point of retreat. Keep in mind, I haven't read Slammed, but whatevs. And then I picked up the Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. I just, I just love the cover, and I want to see what's actually under it. I just really love the cover, and I wanted to buy it. I don't know that many. Ooh, I don't know that many. Uh, ooh great things about this book. I know a lot of people read it a while back and I just really didn't have any interest in reading it. I haven't ever read a book by Samantha Shannon so I don't know anything about this book but I picked it up because it was $5.98 for a hard cup of books so I was like oh yeah. So yeah those are all the books that I got in uh, these last two months, did you see me hit myself? These are all the books that I got in the last two months. And let me guys, let me know if you guys have read anything that you think I would enjoy. Just let me know if there's anything that you guys really enjoyed um, and you think I should read. I know that I'm going, I just put The Wrath and the Dawn. Um, and I need to read that because everybody is loving it right now. And what was the other book that I was like... I don't know. I don't know the other book, but let me know if there's any other books that you guys think I should read and I will get on that because I've been slacking and I need to get out of this reading slump. But other than that, I will talk to you guys next time. Be looking out for like a tag video because I think I'm going to be doing a tag video next. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!